the Trauma Treatment Collective vlog. Today we're going to be talking about what is collective trauma. I've been hearing a lot about this term and I thought it would be good for us to kind of talk a little bit about it and for me to share a little bit of information with you. So I'm going to read this actual um, definition of collective trauma and then we're going to talk a little bit about three things I think you might want to consider as you are kind of thinking about how can you incorporate this into your trauma treatment processes with your clients and how can you kind of take this into account. So collective trauma is a trauma that happens in large groups of individuals and can be transmitted it across generations and communities. It can be caused by wars, genocides, slavery, terrorism, mass bombings, mass shootings, and natural disasters. Collective trauma can be either experienced firsthand or witnessed. Symptoms of collective trauma include rage, depression, survivor's guilt, chronic diseases, syndromes, denial, and internalized oppression. Um, so that's a little bit about collective trauma. And I think when we think about that and hear that definition, we think about the things that have been happening in our society and in our world um, and knowing that, hey, this is something we might want to pay attention to. This is something that we might want to consider as we are treating trauma. Um, I think, you know, I don't know much about collective trauma. Like I said, I'm new to the term. I'm kind of learning about it as I go, but I, I just wanted to bring it up for discussion with us because I think it's happening as our world is continuing to get more chaotic and traumatization is happening at widespread, large scales kinds of things that we do have to consider collective trauma and how it's impacting our clients. So here's three things I want you to consider. Uh, number one is consider educating yourself about collective trauma. It's not something that is probably talked about in a lot of trainings and a lot of graduate school programs and those kinds of things. So take some time and read up on it. Uh, look at some research articles on it. Uh, follow some different people on it. Um, and definitely kind of consider kind of perking your ears up and growing your knowledge about exactly what is collective trauma and how, how, what's the best ways to treat it. There are some different things that I've read. Um, um, about different um, protocols and things of that nature and treatment modalities out there um, that people are kind of coming up with to kind of be able to think about treating collective trauma. Um, so there are some things out there. I'll link some stuff in the comment section or the description section, excuse me. I'll link some stuff in the description section for you to kind of check out and consider. The second thing is consider incorporating more questions or uh, and or assessments in your intake process to help identify collective trauma. So when you think about how to kind of gather information around this about from your client, Think about what kinds of questions you can ask. Think about what kinds of assessments you can put in place to kind of ask clients what has been their experience with collective trauma. Um, what have they kind of taken from different things that they've experienced and kind of felt that inside of them. Um, and just kind of hold it in the back of your mind is, hey, this is a possible thing that my clients have went through. Um, this is a possible thing that they may be uh, experiencing based on their experiences and what they've shared with me thus far. The third thing is consider growing and developing your skills in treating collective trauma and or uh, finding individuals that you can refer to. So if you are not one that's kind of interested in working specifically with collective trauma, definitely having some people in your network that you can refer to. Because my guess is, is as we continue on, um, we are going to run into more and more collective trauma and we're going to see it more and more and we're going to have to either treat it or we're going to have to refer out for it. So so definitely think about uh, growing your skills in that area. So if you find some people that you enjoy following or if you find some things that you want to learn to do um, as far as it comes to treating tra collective trauma, uh, definitely uh, grow your skills or find people who are interested in this particular type of trauma and have a referral network around this particular issue. So those are three things that you consider when it comes to collective trauma. Like I said, I'm still growing in this area. It's something that I'm definitely interested in um, and I want to grow my skill set in uh, but as I am growing I thought I would also mention it to you guys so we can grow together uh, definitely comment in the comment section if you have resources or you know of things that we might want to consider also comment in the comment section if this is something that's new to you. I'd love to hear about that as well. And definitely make sure you subscribe to our channel, which is the Trauma Treatment Collective, so you know what's happening in the Trauma Treatment Collective. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.